Wow. There's a whole lot of money in this deal. Like, seriously. Like, a whole, a whole lot of money in this real estate wholesaling deal. <sighs> Good morning, guys. What a wonderful day. Let's go check the mail. Ooh, I got mail. Ooh, a check. $20,000 check for a wholesale real estate deal. Wow. What's up guys, Zach Gaines here, Flip with Rick. And yes, we just got a $20,000 check for one of our real estate wholesaling deals. And I'm really excited today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the car really quick. I'm gonna drive to that vacant property right now. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I got this $20,000 deal. And no, I don't do a video on every wholesale real estate deal I do, but for ones that really give you a really good lesson, uh, you learn a lot in the video and you learn a lot from the property. My acquisitions guy was talking to me about it and I was like, wow, I gotta do a video on this. Uh, this is pretty interesting. Really quickly, this deal was a probate situation where the people, somebody got cut out of the will, they destroyed the property and it looked like this thing was a mess and our acquisitions guy saved the day and we basically put under contract for 110,000, sold it for 130 and uh, we just got the check in the mail. So uh, pretty exciting guys. So uh, let's get in the car and let's go over to that house in Port St. Lucie, Florida. All right, guys, so we are in the property right now, and I'm really going to show you around the house and really show you that these messed up properties, you can make a absolute fortune in, in real estate wholesaling. So really, uh, let's give a quick tour of the property. You kind of figured out how we got this deal, how our acquisitions person actually locked this deal up. But really, there's some fun things in this house I think you should know about. And uh, really, it was amazing. So as you can see in this property, when we walked into it, there is massive holes everywhere. And you might ask yourself, Zach, well, why is there holes everywhere? Uh, it's because the one person that got out of the will, they were not in the will of this probate situation, decided to destroy this house. And uh, as you can see here, they wrecked havoc. Uh, this property obviously needed a lot of work. There is holes everywhere. And uh, that means we made a whole lot of money. Broken glass, some electrical issues. I mean, that one's working. Some messed up plumbing, but really this is a broken door here. Uh, this was a pretty easy one for our acquisitions manager to do. Um, I'm gonna cover that. That was That is a very uh, adult uh, painting that someone decided to put on the doorway there. So we're gonna, we're gonna blur that out really quick. And uh, really, this is the property. It is a complete mess. Uh, but we made $20,000 on it and it was absolutely crazy. So you might ask yourself, Zach, how did your acquisitions guy go in here and get such a good price? And how do we decide how much we're gonna sell this property for? Now, I got the neighbors all staring at me out here, but uh, it doesn't matter. I'm here to give the free content out for you guys. So uh, the way we found this deal again was through direct mail. We used the RWS postcard, which may basically meant uh, we were giving offers on our postcards to our sellers. And uh, with this one gave a little higher offer than we usually did on it. They called and they basically said, hey, uh, I see your offer here, it's a tad high, uh, it needs a lot of work. So our acquisitions guy really talked to her and the whole situation, long story short, they these people, someone passed away unfortunately and they got cut out of the will. So they decided to destroy the property. So the sister, would not get any money or get less value in the property. And this property just needed so much work. Uh, so if you're walking around this house during an appointment, some things you can look at to help you like devalue the property so you get a lower offer to your sellers is, as you can see here, you see the carpet is like disgusting yellow. You gotta tell the seller that like this flooring needs to be changed to like laminate, hardwood. It's gonna cost it's gonna cost at least five grand to do that here. And that's another thing where we gotta reduce the price. Obviously, the green has gotta go. So you gotta tell your seller there on your appointment that the green has got to go, it's disgusting. As you can see, there's dirt everywhere. You gotta explain that in the appointment. As you can see, one of the biggest points here was there's holes everywhere in the property. Like, this is gonna cost a fortune to fix. They gotta do, they gotta re-drywall it. It's absolutely crazy. It's gonna cost some money to get all this junk out of here. And walking through this house, I mean, it needs a ton of work. And it, that is just the beginning of it. There's electrical issues on here. Some of the lights aren't working. Uh, as you can see here, it's a little hot. There's no AC. It's about 85 degrees here in Florida. So 
Obviously, there's a lot of issues in this property and we got such a great deal on it because we built massive rapport and also there was massive issues with this house. Uh, as you can see here in the back, there is like a porch area type thing. Uh, let me see if I can open it up for you. It's just, oh my gosh. Uh, so here's the porch area out here. And as you can see, this is a wood frame house and there were some issues on the outside in here, but uh, came with a hot tub, pretty cool. That's a lot of the deals here in Florida. Uh, they got something like that and it closes, which is uh, pretty good for a real estate deal. And uh, we walk out out here and uh, we can see it's actually, it needs to be, re it needs to be repainted, uh, but we got well water here. That's just, that well is a little older uh, than we like. Uh, so just walking through here, thinking of what I would have told the seller, because our acquisitions guy is telling us all, our acquisitions guy knows a lot more about like real estate construction than me. Uh, but really just walking around here, uh, typical Port St. Lucie house, nothing crazy. Excuse the noise out there. Uh, the shingles, uh, the roof's decent, uh, not the end of the world. And if you see back here, there is, backs up to a canal. I was actually out here before recording this video and uh, I don't think you can see it, but there's some, I saw an alligator out here. There's some uh, little fish, but a little murky. So I'm going to be a little uh, careful around there. And then obviously the fence is decent. And I, I mean, it, it's a pretty clean property on the outside. Uh, the issue was one of the sidings I'm going to show you on the one side uh, was pretty messed up. And they had this weird bonfire thing that needed to be switched out. I mean, obviously you can see here, this just needs to be replaced it's it's not the cleanest look and if you really want to bring a property up to those retail values you're going to have to switch some more things up some more things you can explain to the seller is the flooring here is a little weird i mean we for all the numbers is we got this property under contract for one hundred and ten thousand dollars, sold it for 130 made twenty thousand dollars and so basically we're going to open this up here and back here is like this weird porch area we had a bonfire pit I mean, it's just a bad utilization of the property. Uh, everything's boarded up. I mean, this car, this carpet's got to go. There's just junk everywhere. I mean, it's uh, not the best. So uh, let's back in here. I feel like I need to wear a mask right here. And the, the biggest point is just how messed up the walls are. And obviously, they did. They kind of did some painting. I don't know what they were thinking here. I mean, this just all has to get replaced. That's why we have told the seller. I mean, this is an old appliance. This is decent, but it's gotta go. I, I mean, it's, it needs a lot of work. I mean, the ceilings have popcorn on there. You gotta get rid of that. Um, we go here in the garage area. Is the light working in here? Oh, looks like the light's working. Uh, it's got a one car garage, not too bad. And really the, another thing that concerned me here that our acquisitions guy got a bigger discount on, Remember, the seller was at like 150,000. We got it for 110. Was because we saw this. Look at that. That's a leak up there on the roof. That's not good, guys. That is not a painting stain. That is a leak in the roof. That is absolutely not good. And uh, obviously, there's just some issues. And that was the main issue here in the garage. Again, it is absolutely hot in here because the AC is not working. So I'm walking through here of the house. I mean, nothing crazy. Uh, as you can see here, someone had something hanging out, maybe drapes and. It got destroyed and we got fly traps everywhere. I mean, this is a two bedroom, two bath, like a thousand square feet, a pretty tiny piece of real estate. And it just, I, I mean, if you're looking at a property and you're with a, and you're with a motivated seller, like let them know these colors ain't going to work. It needs some new flooring. I mean, uh, if you look here in the bathroom, it's just disgusting. So uh, let me show you one of the favorite parts about this probate deal. And it, it's kind of crazy how this all happened. Uh, if you come here, so this was a probate situation and I don't talk to a lot of the neighbors because they're going to hear me, but uh, this was a probate situation. So the probate, uh, the guy that got out of the will, they wanted this house destroyed, but they didn't want to destroy the house intentionally. Uh, so they, they, they told the seller that, you know, uh, someone came in the house and vandalized it. No, I didn't know I was in here. Uh, it's a he said, she said situation. Most likely that person smashed all the holes here and they were pretty angry. So they said someone vandalized it. There's no cameras anywhere. So um, allegedly the person that got cut out of the will did all this, but uh, they claim it's vandalism. 
And what they what they allegedly did, apparently somebody uh, wanted this house destroyed. They painted a Confederate flag on the wood siding of the real estate, the wood siding of the house, so people would see it, get angry, and smash it and destroy it. Uh, so let me show you that. And uh, the sellers are smart, smart enough to paint over it, uh, but the paint job wasn't too well. So as you can see here, it used to be a Confederate flag, and uh, they painted over it. And they were hoping someone was going to see that, get angry, and destroy the house. And it was just not good. Um, walking out the outside here, excuse the noise here, but uh, the wood siding here needs to be replaced. That's starting to come off. We don't want any termites to go with, go after it. Uh, we see the siding here needs work. Um, the main issue out here too was, look at that. Um, we don't want any animals going through there. And uh, termites can get there and destroy the house. So um, a little bit of electrical issues here. And then the fencing's here, but... Uh, really, that's that real. This is that real estate wholesaling deal. I mean, we're, we made 20k on it. This is just a quick lesson for you guys that really, you don't like really disgusting houses like this. Don't be like, oh, it's so bad, I can't make any money. Like a deal like this, I mean, you can still make twenty thousand dollars. And we sold this thing within a week. Literally, it was so easy to do. Uh, the real estate market here in Port St. Lucie is so hot on fire that this was so easy to do. So. Uh, really, even a tiny house, like a $110,000 we got under contract, sold it for $130,000. Like, hey, it's not the biggest deal. It's not our average $35,000, $40,000 spread, but $20,000, hey, I'll take that all day, every day. This is that real estate deal. So uh, walk around here and uh, just showing you some more. I mean, this would be something I'd see on a drying for dollars lead. Uh, the soffits here need to get replaced. So if you see that on, our, on a deal, make sure that you point that out to the seller. Uh, to devalue it and then we have a little extension here that was a big lizard and uh, they had a little shed in there so um overall this is a great deal 20k not complaining at all so uh this is zach in with flip with rick uh coming at you uh let me know any crazy stories you had for real estate wholesaling transactions i don't post every wholesale deal that we do uh, but i was driving around and i heard about the holes and i saw pictures of it i'm like you know what? We got a lockbox on this. Let me go by, do a video. Uh, let me actually go drive to the title company, pick up the check, because uh, I feel like somebody needed to see this today. Be like, hey, if, I, if you were in a similar situation with a, such a trashed house and you don't think you could make money, I wanted to show you that, hey, 21 year old kid can go out here doing this. You can too. Uh, so Zach in here, Flip the Rick signing out. I really appreciate the support you guys have been giving to the channel. Really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next real estate wholesaling deal. Have a blessed day.